What's going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demavent's son. Why? The Dragon Slayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. I'm not sure if Prince Stennis is guilty, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was involved. Power. The object of dark desire. Let's go, before this dark desire becomes too strong and someone gets hurt. You go. I'll locate Triss. Dogs growl at cats. Cats hiss at the dogs. A noble's a wolf to a peasant. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. The commoners claim it's our prince's doing. Such judgment is above their station. I believe it's Hensel's provocation. He wants to drive a wedge between us. Thought we had a basilisk in the basement. Turns out it was just my wife getting cold. Serf's the lodge will never Hensel be on the same side. Wraith Humans only care the how their the asses rise as his stations do. They're playing into Hensel's hands. If they start at each other's throats, we'll have to face the entire might of Kedwin alone. You oh. can't mix water As with I fire. Like Saskia could. Guilt and you see proven. what they did to her? Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. I'll grant you that, Heimster. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Nobody to keep things peaceful? Scale and Borden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants do. That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. What's stopping them? The knights. A dirty and noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vulgan. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvath! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be! What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia! We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care! Saskia has fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat! Where's this servant? Safe. The square tal keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! Get we need to act quickly. We? 
The mob's akin to a forest after a drought. One spark and the fire will be unstoppable. I'm no peacekeeper and definitely no judge. We're both in it, whether you like it or not. Why are you getting involved? For her, Gwynblade. Certainly not for this rabble. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Good. Oh, Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. Change your tone when we put a Ask us on the beer, henceled at the gates. Save your threat Wraith for your the mist. Soul. Greetings, Gwynblade. Anything changed? Not really. The peasants keep hollering. The noblemen stubbornly guard their chieftain. Sirs and lords will never be what on the, the same side. With the virgin's death? Humans only I care how their lives as the stations do. Power. They're playing into as Hensel's hands. Like if they start at each other's throats, must we'll have to it. face the entire might of Hensel. Come over here. Are furious. They finally have a chance to strike back for all the wrongs. The noblemen won't yield. They're a cowardly lot. They know their heads will follow Stennis's. It's a deadlock, with the prince's guilt still to be proven. Yarpin says it's someone from Edom. Sheldon, on the other hand, would shave his beard if it's not Hensel's spies. Anyone reached the prince in his chamber? Not even close. The nobles guard him like a matron does her ward's hiney. If the rabble slaughters the prince, there'll be no stopping them. They'll start doing things their own nasty way. That's why the nobles will support the prince, even if they believe he's guilty. I'm sure Stennis's hands are dirtier than a peasant girl's fucked in a barn. Why would Sheldon suspect Henselt? He'd sooner reach an agreement with Stennis than Saskia. Her death would be very convenient. Zoltan? I'm wondering how anyone could manage to poison the wine. Saskia's a quick-witted lass. She doesn't let just anyone near. Someone she knew must have done it. Has Yarpin got any evidence? No, Yarpin's an old cook and says he's got a feeling, plowing soothsayer. He might be right with those feelings. After all, not just anyone can pass through the Wraith's Mist. It has to be someone local. <laughs> so it never crossed your mind that Henseld might have sent someone here before those ghosts appeared. Give us this whole flower! With fire. Rolling dung, you surly dog! And you see what they did Change to her? Your tone when we put a sickle to your throat. Save your threats for your hog-smelling woman. How are things over there? Nothing new. The serfs, like young winches, are eager but scared. Give Say, us this witcher, come power. over here. Rolling dung. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen to songs praising the nobility. Know anything about the attempt on Saskia's life? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob cannot lynch one of royal blood. So truth means nothing to you. That's what makes us different. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just keep in mind there's a world order that mustn't be destroyed. An order that allows injustice. If the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribunal. The rabble doesn't understand the principles ruling the world. Or they do understand them and simply don't like them. Saskia is a wise woman, but there's one thing she doesn't take into consideration. This war will be over one day. Who will sow the crops and milk the cows then? Saskia called the serfs to arms. Do you think they'll want to plough fields again? You may be right, but it's certainly not my business who'll plough your fields. Farewell. Give us this whole could. plower! And you see Rolling what they did to down, her? you surly dog! You will change your tone when we put a sickle to your throat. The prince Save is only the beginning. Counton and his like won't respect woman. anyone or anything. Nations do. They're playing into Hensel's if hands. Up to me, if they I'd start each other's throats, we'll have to... Hurry up, Witcher! Give us I want to speak with the prince. You're unique, then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. We won't let you in. 
Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence! I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please, Master. Are you here to kill me, Monster Slayer? I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. I am the heir to the Edernian throne, the rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verferil. Prince, if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill me. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the Wraith's battle. It was her duty, as it would have been of any Adernian. Besides, my realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. Saskia and her rebels routed their royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Difni. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of state. Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail even if it costs me my life. I'll go to the axe, my head held high. And I'll certainly not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant girl. Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, your highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never! You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're trying to bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think about it. Guards! What is it, sire? Show the Witcher out. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. Think on what I told you, Geralt. I will. You will change your tone when we... Go get the lads! We won't stand for this! Oh, ah, my hand! I'll cut the block off the next man who dares try his luck. Be gone. Be gone. Give us this whole I hope power. at least you'll Rolling refrain from doing anything you stupid. Sally dog! You will change your tone when we put a sickle to your throat. Save your threats for the your world order, Witcher. Stellar. Keep it in mind. Power. Rolling dung, you surly dog! Change your tone when we I'd gladly hear your opinion on the situation. Finally, someone reasonable. It's obvious Henselt bribed some serf who then did what he was told. Henselt couldn't possibly reach Vergen. Doesn't he have sorcerers at his court? Or perhaps he hired a witcher to break through? There's no other explanation. That's interesting. The local peasants love Saskia. Those surly dogs would gleefully accept a heavy pouch. Show me a serf with any sense of honor. That's interesting. Just think it through. The prince couldn't have done it. The wine was in plain sight. Only the servants touched the decanters. And who are they? Commoners. Then that same commoner incited his folk to stand against the nobles and the prince. Something to think about. Save your threats for your hog-smelling woman. Save your threats for your hog-smelling woman. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in Mere Farragut's time. 
Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing, because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an etching of Da's britches. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to our lovely leader. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. Serfs and lords will never be on the same side. Humans only care how their asses rise as estations for your hog-smelling woman. Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel? Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once done with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. You know Saskia's servant? Willie of the Oblates. He handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willie of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden. It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who'll manage. But he must be one of us lads. That way he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal, our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them. Farewell. Give us this whole power. Rolling dung, you surly dog. Threats for your Who will the Witcher side with? He's on very good terms with that damned elf. Maybe he has good intentions. After all, he defended the prince. Kind. There's Hang them all by the balls and let them swing. Guarding a peasant. Some mission, that is. What should I do? I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're lying. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing, don't know nothing, and didn't see nothing. I don't want to hurt you. I really don't. But I'll cut your arm off if I have to. No, no, please. So tell me what you saw. Tell me everything you know about the attempt on Saskia's life. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody said the virgin is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. 
I swear on my mother's grave, I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say, just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. What should I do? <laughs> they lie in wait for their lord and prince. Humans are an odd lot. I certainly hope Scalen can clean up this mess. What can I do for you, Witcher? I need to know where Reverend Olkin used to live. Hmm. Simple. Let me show you on the map. It's about right here. See you, Governor. Nothing interesting. Welcome again. How can I help you? I have a few questions. Ask away. Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels from me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again... If not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. He cannot be trusted. If he found proof of Stennis's guilt, he'd point his bow the other way. But if it wasn't for him, we could not defend the prince. It's good to see someone's taking care of this. Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his oval! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia? Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince. 
spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stennis! Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold! Everyone knows that! It's not clear how the prince poisoned the wine, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it. Stannis is blowing hot and cold! Everyone knows that! You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it! A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never! It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us! A pig won't cut its own throat! A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his saviour! Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis' room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes! His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stennis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stennis' leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stennis to join the conspiracy. Is Stennis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stennis' time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. Those are just words. Too much guesswork and not enough evidence. You can't convict anyone based on that. It appears Stennis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she... The Virgin of Eden can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. The Prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the Prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? 
What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? The peasants are furious. They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure, and royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble, which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Squirtel units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. You didn't say a word about your guilt or innocence. You demand justice. You want to summon a coven of the wise. But who will sit on that coven? Any peasants? No, only people you'll nominate yourself. Lords whom you'll reward with lands for reaching the right decision. Such men are to decide if you're guilty? No, you are guilty, Prince. You know you are. Nobles won't forgive them that. They're a cowardly lot. Yelping's all they're good at. And backstabbing. By Stennis's example. His filthy life wasn't taken in vain. Eilhart will get royal blood, and Saskia will be cured. We need to hurry. We can't keep peace in Vergen with strength alone. Anything's possible using strength. One just has to know how to use it. That's your credo? Saskia is the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Henselt with this rabble. What do you intend to do? I'll get reinforcements. The Scoyatel are more numerous than you think. Time to summon them. I'll leave shortly. You won't get through the fog. I don't intend to. Mountains may stop human armies, but not the Scoyatel. I'm going south. Will you be back in time? I have to. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't lose hope.